Okay. This is Mr. Fleming, and it's January 7th, and good for us. We survived a insurrection. <laughs> um, but we are working remote this week, and we're coming back January 11th, and I'm looking for a finished um, drawing, a final draft, a final product. And with the R2, we were talking about typography. And I made a point of saying that if we're going to put letters or words into our work at all, we should print them out and then trace them out using the lighting table. Now, there are different ways of doing that. You can use a graphics program like InDesign that will work it out for you. But I want you to stay away from trying to use your own hand, handwriting. Um, I also talked about speech bubbles and um, how to use them. These are just standard. You can get them anywhere. But they should be used carefully and not just as an afterthought. You want to make sure that your placing of the letters is to um, allow legibility and should add graphically to the drawing and shouldn't be a distraction. And if you use your own handwriting, very rarely can it be done well. It can be, but I haven't seen it done well. It's much easier and much more um, clean, neat, and legible if you print the words out. These speech bubbles are also important. You don't necessarily need them, you just need to plan for it. And that's really what I'm looking for is planning. Now keep in mind what I asked for was to use the element of line and shape to create movement. You didn't necessarily have to use text in this one. I am looking for um, a piece that will build your portfolio and typography. We've already worked on it. I just want to continue that as part of it. Um, you can see over here I've taken the sun drawing. There is my rough draft. I'm sorry, my thumbnail. And this is my rough draft here. I'm just working up my color choices. I have my um, purple and orange, my yellow and green, blue and green, yellow, and then yellow and green. And I'm going with this one, which I'll use some white with the yellow. And there is some black up there so you can see it. Down below, I've already worked out my positive and negative space as far as color. I can add my yellow to it. That uh, purple is nice and dry, so it shouldn't work too well. And I have my design there. Now, I also gave the option of using a four panel. We said it had to be eight by 10, but I did get this option of um, the four panels that can help movement. But you've got to decide beforehand are you going vertical or are you going horizontal? Then you create your thumbnail, then you're rough, and you're ready for your final draft. Now, you can see over here we have some examples of um, a past product. And this is a pretty good one in which the kerning and letting. Remember, kerning is the space between the letters and letting is the space between the line. That allows um, an easy read. Something like this, it's, it's very important you understand that you're reading at a subconscious mind. You really, you really are. You're looking at it. It's not like you're reading word for word. The text should add to the drawing. The drawing should add to the text so you can easily absorb it and then move on. But the spacing uh, between the letters will really help you out. So keep that in mind. Now, looking at my rough drafts, I've got color studies here, in which i done different tests of color. I guess this one's the same, but this one's a different color. The same image in which I have different examples of color choices. And then I can go in there. Now, I've got another rough here I want to show you, um, which <laughs> I did, but there's some things about it I just don't like. I have mixed feelings about the color. Uh, I'm not sure how well it's showing up there on the screen, but it's supposed to be a balance between green, purple, and orange, which was not really successful. But looking at the lettering, you can see here there's some issues with the lettering right away. Um, because I did it really relatively freehand, the OK is not centered over the boomer, and the lettering is not quite. I've got to take care of that. So what I'm going to do is take this drawing and bring it to a different level to work out my composition and my design. So now I've taken that drawing from my sketchbook and I've worked out my design. I have my four quadrants. I very clearly know where my focal point is. So here the character is very far away. Here he's getting closer, but the character is always my focal point. Same thing here. My character is the focal point. And then I come over here. Now my figure is worked out, my hands are worked out, my feet are worked out, but please take a look at the lettering, okay? Now you may think that that is just fine. I've got all my letters, the space between the letters is the same, and the space between the lines is the same. That's not necessarily correct. In fact, it is not correct. <laughs> Um, kerning is a very specific art in typography of where the letters should sit next to each other, and it's not always the same. 
The way I put the letter A and the letter um, O next to each other is different than where I'll put the letter I and the letter T. But you do want to make sure your space is designed. Please keep the speech bubble here. There's rectangles around it where I carefully space that chevron shape. I did space out the lettering, but I would probably want to print out the words and trace them. But now you can see where the movement also happens, not just in the character. Very far away, there's my uh, background. Getting close, it's still in my background. Here he's in my uh, mid-ground. Here I force my way through the picture plane into the foreground, giving a great contrast between this frame and this frame. And the lettering is going to add to the overall drawing. From here, I can get an excellent final draft, and that's what I want to see. We're looking for the process also, and you should be looking to add to your portfolio. If you choose not to use text, that's fine. We also talked about color, and if you're using color, please make sure I have color studies to look for before you go to your final draft. Keep in mind, this is Thursday, January 7th, after the insurrection, if you need to. Um, but this is where you should be. I'm going to put this up, I think, this weekend so that we have something else to look at on Monday, and please... If we do go fully remote again, always watch these videos during your class time. So at this point, uh, on Monday when you come in, I'm looking for everyone to come in with a final draft and we'll do a critique right away and then we'll move on to another project. And remember to make art because art won't make itself.